Miniature painting, wargaming, warhammer, these hobbies kind of tend to get a bad rap for being overly expensive. And while definitely some stuff can get pretty pricey, for the creative hobbyists, there's lots of ways to get stuff on the cheap. What's going on guys, it's Richard here from Crash Course Hobbies, and today we're talking about how you can get a nice hobby score from your local dollar store. One thing you guys need to keep in mind is that most dollar stores tend to have pretty seasonal inventory, so I do recommend stopping in every couple of months just to see what changes or what they might have. I, I went to the shop today and I picked up a handful of things that are pretty cool. So let me show you what I was able to find. So the first area that I ended up running into was the floral section, which I didn't know, really think dollar stores have a floral section, but apparently right now they do. They had a bunch of like the foam they use for flower arrangements, which doesn't make good terrain foam for us, but they also had rocks and foliage and other stuff like that. So there we did score pretty good. I got a couple of packs of this reindeer moss, which is gonna be excellent for adding some scatter around on the battlefield, just kind of to artsy it up a little bit. I love little things like this to decorate the board, to make it feel a little bit more immersive, a little bit more natural. You could also use it as just basing material or stuff like that. And for a buck, a pouch, I mean, you really can't go wrong. Next thing in a very similar vein is just a set of decorative rocks. These at like a dollar a bag again, just really nice to have to scatter them all around on your playing board. I like to always kind of butt some up against ruins and things like that just to kind of add like that rubbly effect. If you don't have any craters, you could maybe use them as difficult ground or something like that. Or you could also just mix them up and use them for dioramas or terrain with other smaller bits of sand and rocks and things like that too. Always good to have rocks. And look, you can get rocks for free, but not all of us want to wash and bake and do all that kind of stuff for our rocks. So for a dollar bag, I'm just gonna buy them. Next thing I found that was really interesting are these little cut up branches. I'm sure people probably use these for lots of little craft type things. Personally, I'm not gonna do anything to them because they're perfect as they are. At this scale, they make for like really awesome big tree trunks that maybe you could set up an area that's been forested or something like that for like a really cool game board. Um, and for these smaller pieces, you know, can use them to make fences, could use them to maybe make some kind of cabin or something like that. I mean, the applications for sticks like this at, at 28 millimeter scale are pretty much endless. So it was just nice to have these, but I'm really excited to just throw some of these big kind of tree stumps down and see what they look like on the table. But keeping with the rock theme, I also got a little bag of what's basically like fish tank gravel, but these little black stones, these are great to have for basing. I actually use these black ones mixed in with the green texture paste for my custodies. So I just picked up another bag of these to have them, but these work great mixing with different textures of sand and bigger rocks for like a pre-made mix of basing material or just having to sprinkle around your battlefield again for some more rubble. Next, I went to all of us favorite nerds area, the toy section. And here you can find all kinds of really cool stuff. This is actually my favorite area of the dollar store because if you get your creative juices flowing a little bit, you look at all these kind of plastic molded toys and you could chop them up and create all kinds of cool stuff. Because it's summer and we're kind of getting into the seasonal stuff now, I found these bubble blasters. Now my plan here is to cut the handles off and make them kind of like cool industrial looking electrically pylon type things. I think those will look pretty cool like that. And then I also found these little, I don't know, like little high live catch thrower thingies. Uh, but the plan here is to bust the handle off of them and they already have this cool cutout kind of metal panel look. So maybe use those to bind those together. Uh, I'm not sure, but always having cool plastic pieces that you can paint and make look like terrain is, is always a win. Another cool little toy that I picked up is right now they've got these little alien action figures there. So for a dollar, you know, I thought, ah, maybe I could turn this into some terrain. Now, um, they actually had these a while back before I started this channel. And I did use this as inspiration to create some very kind of alien-esque uh, Ridley Scott type, you know, terrain. And so I made these little eggs and put some LEDs in them, used a bunch of silicone and things to create this slimy texture and then put a dead alien in the middle, to kind of make it like something that aliens are gonna hatch and have their babies eat it, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so just this one little dollar toy inspired that whole idea. So keep your eyes out, you might find cool stuff. 
Next, they tend to have like a tool section, which you can usually find things like little files, clippers, uh, scissors, all that kind of stuff you might need. This time around, I picked up a four pack of little assorted tweezers. It's nice to have these, of course, for things like putting on little tufts or holding little bits in place. And the fact that they're so cheap, I'm not gonna mind so much if I ruin them or mess them up or something like that. So just having little tools like this is always a nice thing and beneficial for us hobbyists. Finally, don't be awkward, don't be shy about it. Go over to the makeup section because typically over there, you're gonna find really good cheap dry brushes. Now I was able to score a smaller one and a quite big one that I'm gonna probably use these for terrain. And yeah, while definitely like dedicated hobby dry brushes tend to be better, um, you know, they're pretty expensive. And if you're gonna use them on cheaper paints or bust them up on your terrain or something like that, having a couple of cheap makeup brushes go as your go-to, um, it's honestly like one of the best things you can score at the dollar store. Now the dollar store definitely does tend to have like a dedicated craft section. And there you can find things like small bottles of Mod Podge. You can find things like popsicle sticks, various sizes of paint brushes, super glue, all that kind of stuff. Although in my experience, the sizes of those versus what you get tend to not be as good of a deal if you just bought a bigger one from Hobby Lobby. So just kind of keep that stuff in mind. But it's always nice to just, you know, if you're there, just pick up something that you might need. One thing I usually always grab is a set of these six little hard palettes. I like to use them for mixing up washes or mixing up blends of contrast paint, stuff like that. And they tend to be pretty much infinitely reusable because you can wash them. Acrylic paint just pops right out of them if you let it dry. So uh, definitely recommend having some of these. Anyways, guys, that's it for me, for my suggestions for stuff from the dollar store. There's also some other things you can usually find there like foam core if you wanna make your own terrain. Sponges can be really good. Again, because this stuff changes so much, what you can and can't find there is kind of hit and miss, but it can be kind of a fun excursion every couple of months to just go get those creative juices flowing and see what you can pick up. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this useful. If you did, of course, be sure to subscribe. I've got lots more videos like this coming for you in the near future. Please continue to support your local game stores. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.